Hey YouTube, life is getting kind of crazy, so I'm finding it more and more difficult to find time to record these kind of intro videos. So I wanted to introduce my makeup tutorial today is Johnny, okay, Johnny put you on because is that what's happening? I think that's what's happening. So I'm running some errands and figured I'd put this on and say hi and welcome you to this week's makeup tutorial. I am giving you a little bit of Johnny Depp's wolf character from Into the Woods. Uh, I've been a huge fan of Sondheim's musical for many, many years. Uh, I played the baker's wife at one point. So when the movie came out, I was just super excited. The movie, they put like a zoot suit kind of suit on him, but in the play, he's uh, he's got his wang hanging out. So it's completely crazy. Anyway, off the subject, um, I was really excited when it came out. It gave me a reason to do another Disney character and it gave me a reason to play with a little bit of Johnny Depp because I always heard that when I'm in drag and I do some androgynous drag, I kind of resemble him. Um, or a dude with eyeliner, pretty much, I would get Johnny Depp or Adam Lambert. If you enjoyed my video, I'm still learning as I make these videos, so once I do another shoot of filming some more faces, I'm sure we'll get some more improvements. And keep watching, keep liking, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your enemies. I'll take their subscriptions too. All right, this time I'm actually showing myself applying moisturizer instead of just saying it. You know, production value. And now I'm directly starting my contour where I take my medium brown cream makeup to carve in his furrowed brows, down the nose, the upper lip, the lower lip, and the forward part of his jaw. Now I know there's probably an anatomical term for that part of the face, but I haven't researched that yet. Maybe next time I'll know some terms, okay? But no promises. I continue with the contours, including the jawline, cheeks, brows, and then I bring out my base foundation color and fill in all the leftover skin. As I'm painting it on, I'm smoothing out the makeup to really get into all the crevices and corners, making sure I'm getting a nice, even coverage. Then with the foundation brush, I start the blending process. Blending seems pretty basic in theory, but making sure to maintain the shapes you painted can be difficult when you also want the blending to look smooth and seamless. So I've mentioned before, practice, practice, practice. It can get tiring doing the same thing all the time, but just see it as preparation for when you start pulling on lighters, filming yourself painting faces for a camera. Speaking of pulling on lighters, I might as well tell you now, I have auditioned for RuPaul's Drag Race a few times, never getting on it. But most recently, I included clips of my transformation process into a few characters. And because the application submission timing is a very small window, I was pulling all-nighters collecting footage. So yes, I am wearing the same shirt as you saw in my last video. See? There's good old Ricky taking off his wig with the crack of dawn spilling in behind me. I've apologized before for my quality of video as a newbie to the tutorial world, but this backdrop is really thin and it showed the sun coming in and you can see the window panes. But this is what I had to work with. And don't worry, next week's video, I'm wearing a different ugly shirt. See? <laughs> Back to work. Now that my contour and base colors are blended in, before I go into any more detailing, I pop in the highlights with the white cream makeup, blending as I go. I then seal in the makeup with my translucent setting powder, brushing off all the excess with a round, dry, clean brush. I immediately grab my detailed brush, and taking my black powder shadow, I find the deep contours in the inner corners of my eyes under my eyes, my nostrils, the upper lip, and blending it out as I go. You can see me add detail and then blend, add more detail and then blend. Sometimes I do all the details and then do all the blending. Other times I do it little by little. And as a friendly reminder, I'm self-taught, so I don't follow rules to my drag, my art, my makeup, or my tutorials. I just do it. And I'm still trying to figure out the why. Once I do that, I'll let you know too, I promise. At this point, I'm just slowly building more and more black shadow into my cheeks, eyes, and your favorite and mine, the quote-unquote forward part of the jaw. Feel free to comment with an anatomical term for this if you like. Let's teach each other, shall we? Now I'm using my felt tip black eyeliner to line my lower lash line, and when that's done, I can see I need to add more depth into the inner corners of my eyes and onto the nose. I move on to the eyebrows now. I'm taking my black cream makeup and drawing medium length lines in an upward direction. 
I originally played with the gluing eyebrows on for the wolf, but in the chaos of a mid-show makeup change, I don't have time to properly glue multiple prosthetics or hair pieces on, so I soon decided the mustache is more important to see dimension than the eyebrow is. You're more than welcome to glue eyebrows on for your look, but I kind of cheated with mine, and it's mine, so it doesn't matter. Now I bring my waterproof liquid liner back out and start to line the top of my lid, soon bringing in more black shadow and blending it down onto the outer corners of my eyes. I throw some white powder on my hand and start popping in those highlights to really help the rest of the contours come to life. Now I need to add some color to my lips, first extending the opening a little further out and down for a more villain type look. Brushing on a purple shadow with the focus in the center of my lips, blending it out, finishing off with some highlighting details. Now it's time for my bag of tricks. Every character I perform has its own bag of crap, so I take out my handmade mustache set and start to brush on the spirit gum, also adding some to the skin where the stash will be placed. Now you can search for any spirit gum tutorial and they'll all remind you that you need to make sure the adhesive becomes tacky before placing it on. I was just too lazy to walk the 20 feet to my bathroom to grab the blow dryer, so instead I'm using this fancy fan. We'll say it's just more production value, okay? I then carefully line up and press my mustache pieces onto my upper lip. This part can get real frustrating and time consuming. You literally have to just wait for it to dry, constantly applying slight pressure and holding it in place. Once you think it has a basic decent hold, you can grab your fancy fan and while still holding in place, give it a slight breeze because slight breezes are essential to frustrating waiting times. Here's some slow down fabulousness for you. I made my mustache out of floral tape and wired ribbon that I cut up and reshaped. Since it's wired, it's slightly heavier than what other people may use, but I like the ability I have to reshape the wire at the end, so it worked for me. After what seemed forever, I now go in with a teeny tiny detail brush and take more of the black cream makeup and fill in areas where the mustaches aren't identical, or perhaps isn't laying the way I want. I'm pretty much just trying to balance each side so they're symmetrical. Then I paint on the flavor saver, throw in some last minute white highlights and details, and it's time to get into costume. Now you can see here that I didn't properly bind, so my ladies are sitting on my chest in a way I would never wear on stage, so please forgive me for that. And while you watch me finish getting dressed, I'm going to let you in on a secret. I'm horrible at accents. As I mentioned earlier, these makeups were originally filmed for my RuPaul's Drag Race audition video. I filmed all these characters performing all the challenges they asked for in the tape, including an acting challenge, lip sync in a RuPaul song, and a snatch game segment. It became painfully apparent that my wolf character would not make the snatch game cut because as I may be able to impersonate celebrities and characters with pantomime and lip sync, I definitely cannot speak like them. As proof, I present to you some unused footage where... <sighs> my deepest apologies. I've heard of these Kardashians. And where might those Kardashians live? Yeah, now back to my pantomiming abilities. Since that footage was not included in my audition video, I'm pretty sure I won't get in trouble for sharing that with you. And even if I do get in trouble by the race, it's not like they're calling me up to be on their show, so whatever. And just kidding, Rue, I love you. I mean, my mama always taught me not to bite the hand that feeds you. Even if there's only a very slim possibility that she may feed me one day, but that means we all have to keep our fingers crossed, okay? Thank you. Well, anyway, thank you again for watching my Wolf from Into the Woods makeup tutorial. As usual, let me know what you think. And if you haven't yet watched my other videos, here are a couple links to make life easier for you. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.